Good morning everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Lynn and this is my little rural homestead. Today I want to share a laundry detergent recipe. This recipe comes from Boots and Hooves. <laughs> Boots and Hooves. There are a lot of recipes. There are a lot of recipes out there for laundry soap. The trick is to find the recipe that works for you. This recipe has one, two, three, four, five ingredients. They're all natural ingredients, no harsh chemicals at all. So the first ingredient we have is Epsom salt. The only Epsom salt I could find was a scented Epsom salt, which is fine. I decided to choose, I chose, <laughs> I chose the lavender scented Epsom salt. So we're gonna use half a cup of lavender Epsom salt. I'm going to pour half a cup in here. I just have a little container. I have my measuring cup right here. And one half cup. That's half a cup. Then we need a quarter cup of pink salt. You can use any kind of salt. It says sea salt. You can use whatever kind of sea salt. If you have Redmond sea salt, that would be fine. Probably better than pink Himalayan salt but this is the only sea salt I like. I've never tried Redmond's. So we're gonna go ahead and put a quarter cup of sea salt in our container. Then we need one and a half cups of Armour baking soda. And I have my measuring cups right here. I'm just gonna go ahead and measure this out. A little bit too much, but that's okay. That's okay, it's baking soda. Baking soda is a natural cleanser. So in goes that, and then that. And then we also need, this is different than baking soda. This is washing soda. This is Laundry Booster Arm & Hammer. <laughs> it's Arm & Hammer washing soda. So again, we're going to use one and a half cups of this. I'll measure this out. Oops, got a couple of clumps there. That's okay, I'll break those up. Okay. very early in the morning if you can't tell <laughs> it's like I don't know it's like five o'clock in the morning all right I'm gonna put this in here then the last thing we're going to add is lavender essential oil okay this one might be empty I might have to go grab another one it's good. Actually perfect. We had just a, the right amount. Now it's empty. All right, I'm going to get a spoon and we're going to stir this. I decided to double the recipe and I have a full container here. This is relatively cheap. This is going to last me a year. So the Epsom salt was $2.98 at Walmart. This is the Great Value brand. The pink salt was $1.25 at the Dollar Tree. This big, huge uh, baking soda was, I think, was $3.86 at Walmart, and I found it in the laundry aisle, so in the laundry detergent aisle, as well as the Arm & Hammer laundry booster. I think this was, I'm pretty sure it was like $4.12. So I doubled the recipe and I still have a lot of ingredients left. This lavender was given to me by my daughter. I do have lavender. I have my own lavender, but this was had just enough lavender for this recipe. Um, you can buy lavender essential oil. I like the Better Homes and Gardens essential oil and I buy that at Walmart and it's Right now I think it's like $4.96 for a bottle like this and you don't need a lot, you just need a few drops. 
So this is going to last me all year. So for a small load of laundry, you only need one tablespoon. For a larger load, you want to use two tablespoons and one load. So that's not a lot. You don't need a lot. And remember, we don't really need the suds to clean our clothes. It's not the suds that clean the clothes. It's the ingredients that clean the clothes. So I hope you give this recipe a try. It's definitely a lot cheaper than buying maybe Tide or some of the other name brand laundry detergents. And it's, it doesn't have any harsh chemicals in it. It's all natural. So on that note, I'm going to go ahead and conclude this video. I hope you enjoyed today's content. I want to thank all my subscribers for supporting my channel. I will see you in my next video. Bye.